Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of December 5th to December 11th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy Capricorn and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also my readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. I will never send you a message with a phone number or with an email, anything, anything at all telling you to contact me or reach out to me. That's not me. Those are scammers, okay? I, the only message I'll send you is saying thank you for something you wrote, you know? Um, so ignore those messages. That's not me. Those are scammers. So please be careful. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we have Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Four of Wands, the Tower, Page of Wands, the Sun. At the bottom we have Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, the Fool, Ten of Wands. I feel like you're, you're on, oh look at that, yeah, Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Feel like you're on your way towards some kind of new beginning here, Capricorn. It almost feels like a transitional energy that you're going through here. You're transitioning from one thing to something else. It looks like something is falling apart in your life with the tower card, but it feels like it's a good thing, you know, with the tower and the sun. It's a good thing that whatever this is that's falling apart is leaving your life because it's, it's allowing you to have the freedom to pursue something new. You know, because I feel like something was a heavy burden here for you with the Ten of Wands. Something was just becoming too much of a heavy burden. And you should have let it go a long time ago. But sometimes if you don't let go of things that are not good for you, sometimes the universe will step in and get rid of it for you. You know? Because sometimes I feel like the tower is the universe kind of intervening in your life. Sometimes I see the tower as the universe intervening. And I feel like um, you're feeling optimistic about something here with the page of wands and the sun. Mm, you're feeling optimistic about some kind of new beginning.
Some of you might feel motivated here to, to take action towards building a relationship with someone who you, who you really care about. We have the Six of Cups. It could be someone from your past, someone who you already know, but you know things didn't really work out or things never got off the ground between you and this person. And there might be a second opportunity here, a second chance. Yeah, there might be a second chance to pursue a relationship here again, if you're still interested, which I feel like you are still interested. We do have the Knight of Pentacles here, so you are taking your time here. You're not, you're trying not to rush things. You know, you're trying to you're trying to be careful or cautious about how fast you get involved with someone. I feel like you want to observe right now. You want to observe um where things are heading almost like you want to test things out first you know test out the energy first hmm. you do have a lot of feelings for someone here though there could be yeah i do feel like there's a third party situation with the King of Swords and the Three of Cups, it's it's painful for you to let go of this situation, this relationship or connection. And you're still kind of hanging on to it here with the Page of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Page of Swords, Three of Swords. I feel like you're still hanging on to some sort of relationship that didn't work out. I feel like it's connected to this tower. Um, you and you and someone had some sort of big argument or fight or disagreement, and it ended up in in things being over between you two with the death card. And you're feeling a little bit with the four of cups. You're feeling a little bit kind of. like a little bit lost you're feeling a little bit lost in your emotions yeah because i feel like you weren't expecting things to kind of just fall apart here with the tower card you thought you thought it would grow into more with the empress card but it didn't mm. So you are kind of still upset about that. Um, you're still hanging on to the grief that you feel about losing someone here. But still, I feel like it's a good thing with the sun car. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like, and especially I can see the devil here showing up. There's, there's that devil energy, so... I feel like it was something was toxic here. Some sort of connection you had was toxic. And it's it's for the best to to be away from this energy or from this person, to be separated. I do like this energy of the fool though cuz I do feel like um, you feel lighter, you know, it's almost like you feel like there's a weight off your shoulders, you know, you're feeling much lighter in your energy. 
So you are going to need some time to heal. But I do feel like you have new love here with the Knight of Cups. Now this new love might be coming towards you with a message or with an offer with the Page of Wands. And I feel like it's going to make you really happy. Mm -hmm. All right, let me look at that Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. You know, I think some of you are feeling a little bit lost, like I said, emotionally lost, because you did have um, a lot of investment in, in a certain connection or relationship or person. You had a, you had a lot invested in them. You... You invested a lot of time and energy into them. It, you know, it, it did represent uh, a certain structure in your life. Or maybe like a certain stability in your life. Something that you were used to. You know, something that you grew accustomed to, even if it's not exactly what you wanted, like it, it wasn't your ideal person or ideal relationship. Um, it was still something that felt familiar to you, I guess you can say, you know. Yeah, just something familiar, something that just was always there. And like I said, with the tower, I feel like some sort of foundation has been has been destroyed with the tower. Tell me about the tower spirit. Yeah, this could even be your belief system was also destroyed. If you had, you know, a specific belief of what you thought was the truth or what you thought would happen. I feel like that kind of got shattered here. Tell me about the tower. Okay, yeah, I just, that's exactly what I just said right now with the hangman. You know, some sort of view that you had about something or someone has now changed, you know. Uh, one more. And we have the Ace of Cups. Ooh, yeah, there's new love here coming, coming into your life with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, but I feel like um, with the Ace of Cups, I feel like this is also like a past energy. Someone who used to be your ace of cups is out of the picture and now there's like a new ace of cups coming into your life here with the sun card all right let's move on to your person see what their energy is for the week hopefully that resonated All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. Thank you, spirit.
We have the Emperor at the bottom here. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. So we have the Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Five of Cups, and Temperance. Somebody's missing you here, Capricorn, with the Five of Cups. Somebody's missing you. Someone who you had um, a falling out with, a separation with. Some, someone is wishing things could be healed between you and them. Um, despite whatever conflict happened between you two, this person still um, has really strong feelings for you. Some of you might have rejected this person or like that you made this you made this person feel rejected. Cuz I do feel like they're they're feeling kind of rejected by you for some reason. Yeah, I do feel like someone is like moving away from you with the 6 of swords. Um, or moving away from this relationship with you. And I feel like they're going to be very focused on their work, their career, their finances, um, mainly to distract themselves from whatever happened between you and them with the Five of Cups, whatever separation or ending happened between you and them. They're going to be kind of, you know, burying their head into their work. Focusing all of their energy into their work to distract themselves from, from the heartbreak that they feel, from the heartbreak that they feel um, having walked away from you with the Six of Swords. Or you walked away from them, I'm not sure which direction it is. We have the Emperor. Oh, look, there it is. The Emperor and the Three of Swords. Oh, so it's this Emperor who you're dealing with. Now, it could be an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. This could be someone older or someone who is well established in their career, in their work. They might have their own business or they might have like a high position or someone who's very, you know, career oriented or goal oriented. Emperor is kind of like a husband, um, but it could be a wife also. This, this is a man, but it could be a female. It doesn't have to be a male. But this is like a husband wife energy. So I feel like this person was definitely looking at you as someone who they wanted to, you know, have a long-term commitment with. That was the intention to have a long-term commitment or even a marriage. Some of you are already married to this person. So they're definitely feeling a lot of hurt for this because of this ending that happened between you two, because they wanted to, you know, grow old with you, I guess you can say. You see, the emperor kind of looks a little old. They wanted to grow old with you. All right, what else? We have three of cups here. Third party situation might have um, gotten in the way of this relationship because we have two threes, three of swords and three of cups. Third party situation could have caused things to fall apart or, or to end. The Magician and the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Two times. A double ending here. So I see, because I see two endings here, um, some of you might have like already experienced an ending before. And this is just, you know, uh, a repeat cycle. 
between you and this person. You two are repeating and ending all over again. Um, because I feel like it, an ending already happened between you two in the past. It didn't work out this time around either. Magician is here, so I feel like this person, someone or someone manifested a reconciliation, but it didn't work out the second time either. I don't know why, but... Hmm. Let me see if I can feel why. Yeah, I feel like um, you two just weren't seeing eye to eye with each other. Because the emperor can be kind of stubborn in, in their energy. Mm. Yes, uh, there's a, someone might have been too stubborn, you know. Um, what else? We have King of Pentacles and the World and the Hermit card. With the Lovers and the Queen of Wands. I do feel like this person has been doing a lot of soul searching um, after this ending, this person went into a, a, a period of time of doing a lot of soul searching with the Hermit card. Is this person going to return back? I think is the question here. Um, so let's ask that because I just want to know. Because I don't, I feel like that's the the. I feel like that's the point here, like, yeah, I feel like that's the point. That's the main idea. So is this person going to return back to Capricorn? Because I feel like they're thinking about it. Yeah. Is this person going to return back to Capricorn spirit? Please show me. Wow, interesting. They're definitely thinking about it because they want to make things right with you with the Justice card. Justice card and the Page of Swords. So they are watching you. They are watching you from a distance. They're keeping tabs on you. They're very focused on you. They're, they're thinking about you um, heavily. And with the Justice card, they do want to make things right with you. But we do have the, the Devil here. So this person is kind of holding a grudge in some way. Um, tell me about that devil spirit. Sorry, that was my chair, main noise. Tell me about the devil. Of course, that is Capricorn, but tell me about the devil. So we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Eight of Wands. Oh, this person wants you to communicate with them first. Yeah, you know what? This person feels like they didn't do anything wrong. I, this is why I told you about the emperor. The emperor can be kind of stubborn in their energy. Um, they have a very fixed way of seeing things. They have very they have a very fixed um, opinion or point of view. So I do feel like this person feels like they didn't do anything wrong. They're kind of looking at you like you. I don't know, you push them away or you you push them to their edge or like you provoked conflict, you created conflict or drama. It's almost like they feel like things would have been fine if you would have um, 
if you wouldn't have like done whatever you did. I don't know what that is. The, the, the point is they feel like you're the one who disrupted the, the balance of the relationship. But they want the balance to be restored because they're still hanging on to you with the Page of Swords. But with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands with the Devil, I definitely feel like this is someone who's waiting to see what you're going to do. If you're going to reach out to them, if you're going to chase them, you know. If you're going to try to make things right with them, because I feel like that's what they want, you know. That's essentially what they want right now. They're not taking this ending too well. They're, they're definitely, um, they're feeling the pain of your absence. And even though they're holding a grudge against you with the devil, they still want you back, you know. But they want you to be the one to, to chase them. Because I do feel like you might have bruised this person's ego in some way with the emperor card. All right, Capricorn, so that's what I see. I hope this resonated with you. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, and I'm going to take a deeper look at what are your person's true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.